Hello there and welcome back to another edition of Silly Car Showdown. Today we are taking a look at the Ford GT40 Mark 1. This car was requested by a Lotus in Joro GT who also has a specific engine swap idea for this car. This is of course a barn find that is available in the game. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Ford GT40 but I do quite like this very first ever GT40. Anyways, the exact engine that uh, Lotus wants me to use is the V6 twin turbo which is a relatively unique engine uh, pretty unique indeed in the game it is the Ford GT's engine or the GT EcoBoost from the new Ford GT so we'll strap that one in of course the car must stay with its stock drivetrain and also it is not allowed to use any Forza Aero so it has to run exactly like this Anyways, we will continue on with the building of the car. We get the Horizon Forza tyres, which is nice. Uh, two 7.5s on the front. I'm expecting big tyres on the back. 3.45s, excellent. Another rear-wheel drive car uh, to take on the course. Again, as I said previously, not that many all-wheel drive cars have been requested yet. Jesus Christ, the launch that just flew up when I put in the gearbox. I'm assuming this thing had some really old... Probably a 4-speed from what I remember in this car, so uh, yeah, definitely needed that uprated gearbox. Anyways, we are going to have another high PI car on our hands, similar to the Porsche from last time. The question is, uh, will this actually go ahead and beat uh, the Porsche that we had last time? I'm not too sure. The stats are not raising on this thing whatsoever. The exhaust manages to make them jump up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it seems to be... Uh, Oh dear, that's usually a sign the car probably won't handle particularly well. Uh, I mean, it gained 51 horsepower there and no PI particularly. So this is a really expensive build. Anyways, S2 913, 910 horsepower, 741 foot-pound torque, 2,063 pounds of weight. This thing's very light, uh, and it reckons it will do 3.3 seconds to 60. Yeah, slightly scared of this one, gotta be honest. It does have a high starting PI, which is usually a sign it's going to be better, although I will say the starting PI on this around the same as the Porsche, and the actual overall PI is not quite as high as the Cayman. Uh, what I am expecting is a car which is very quick in a straight line, and probably a complete handful around the corners, but, you know, we never judge a book by its cover. We have been proven wrong several times. And it is now time to take this car over to the SCS course to find out what it is like. So, here we are at our track here in Edinburgh to see how well the Ford GT40 with the EcoBoost V6 gets along. As usual, it will have five laps to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is a Porsche Cayman GTS which set a time of 148.268. This car may be in a chance to be if it handles well. That's a big if though, because the way the PI went up on this thing, I am expecting a quick car, if not a particularly nice car to drive. But, yeah, I have been proven wrong before, and I eagerly look forward to that. We get the same usual weird bouncing issue through there. Uh, okay. So far, so composed. Hmm, I was not expecting this from the GT40, it actually feels alright, I, I haven't really properly put my foot down yet, so I'm still slightly scared of it, but it feels alright up to now, which is a credit to it. Alright, how do we do down this back straight, get the foot down, it is by far and away the quickest car we've had, oh. Maybe. Brakes aren't quite so good as some as the uh, the previous two cars, the Imp and the Porsche, of course being the built cars. Uh, but that, yeah, it definitely looks like it is quicker than the TVR, which currently holds the record uh, for speed down there. Yeah, it does feel... I'm actually really impressed. I was expecting this GC40 to be a bit of a crap shot, to be honest with you. It actually feels alright to drive. Uh, which I was not expecting. The engine's very uh, smooth. To say this is making how much power? 910-ish. 
It's not bad. Although it'd help if I could get stopped for that corner. It doesn't seem to have, I don't think it really affects the time all that much. If that corner happens to be a little bit dingo. But, you know, it's always good to get your corners on point. Across the line and, uh, well, it beats the imp already. But of course, uh, that was not a full proper lap for the Ford. So we will go ahead and try and make it a proper lap for the proper sports car legend, the Ford GT40. But yeah, it's a really solid car to drive, really nice thing uh, to drive. Again, there's not really a whole lot of foot down action here. I'm trying to avoid it as best I can, just because this car really... It still has, it, it hasn't quite got the Porsche level of uh, security on it, but it certainly feels more secure than the Imp. I've got a bit more faith in it as we blast down here. Yeah, this car's definitely quicker than our old TVR. I thought that was a missed checkpoint then, I was about to say. Uh, smashing into that wall is not good. I'm surprised I haven't done it more than I already have done. Yeah, it really does take off through the gears. It is a pretty darn awesome car. I actually really like the way it is driving right now. It's just... I, I think having those big rear tires on the rear is definitely helping. Uh, the front tires are gripping nicely too. Which is of course a bonus. Uh, yeah, this is uh, probably on for a very quick lap indeed. Ooh, as we get a little bit of a bounce through there. A little bit of a wall rub through there. Coming down to the final straight. This is going to be quick. A 147.198. It is the leader. But of course it still has uh, plenty of laps in the bag to try and make its sports a little bit more well known. Yeah, I mean... The Porsche was good. But this is better handling. It's a lot quicker. It's just a nicer car to drive. Uh, yeah, I, I'm presently surprised by the GZ40. I was not expecting it to be uh, this level of good, but no, it is actually pretty darn good. I'd love to see what it's like with the Forza Rero, to be honest with you. I mean, that would only make it sweeter through these corners, but it's pretty sweet. I mean, you've barely seen it get its arse end out. Uh, and again, I don't know how much that is just due down to the Big 3-4-5 tyres on the way to try and get stopped more into here so we don't smack off this wall. Got to smack off the wall anyway, but it's going to be more of a lovely little drift tap. Maybe has some slight issue getting traction out of some of the lower speed corners. Uh, but through the high speed corners it is as stable as anything. Really good car to drive. That's probably the I, I mean, the imp was good at that, but uh, that might be the best way a car has taken the switchblade so far. Uh, a really good little look. As we come down here. Excellent. Yeah, we're doing well here. We're doing very well indeed. As we power it down to the straight. A 146.638. Ah, bollocks. Smack on the corner of there. We will have one more lap after this one, though, to see if we can go any quicker. Oh, uh, yeah, it's impressive. It, it's a very impressive car indeed. It also, unfortunately, means our leaderboard is very, very stretched out at the moment. Pretty much every car has about two, three seconds between each other, but, uh, you know, we're only benchmarking cars at first. Real test will be whether uh, they stay there, whether the leaderboard gets fill up uh, by the time you guys start requesting stuff as well. You never know what could change. If we stop to go into this corner. There we go. Yeah, it's good. It really is very, very good. Indeed. I do like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. A little more power down here. Yeah, she's good. 
She is good indeed. There we go. There's just not that much more to say about the GT40 really, other than it's just a really nice car to drive. Uh, really very good indeed. A lot, like I said, I was worried about this car initially when I saw the PI wasn't really doing much. It sort of sat there, but uh, no, it's uh, it's doing really very well. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed indeed though with the GT40. Put our foot down some more and head on to the final lap. I mean, even with the brush with the wall, that would have been quicker than the lap time set by the Cayman. So, uh, yeah, did really well there. Really well, indeed, actually. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just so composed. Such a nice to go ahead and drive. Kind of have its issues, uh, you know, the tail through the lower speed corners does have some issues getting out of there in one piece, but actually all in all it's pretty darn good. As we try and fit down here. I think, I'm gonna call, I think I've got a name for this gun, I'm going to call it the Glasgow Smile. Uh, that seems like an appropriate name because they're like, much like this corner a Glasgow smile is very painful, even though I know we're in Edinburgh, but, uh, you know, got to make some Scotland references, haven't we? It's a good old Scotland. Why I and all that. Anyways, I think that's Welsh. Anyways, yeah, the GC40, good car. Very good car, indeed. Really not much more to say than that. As we come down here, it can get through the switchblade really nicely as well. Uh, like I said, lower speed corners, I would like some more traction. I don't know if Forza Aero uh, would be the solution to that. If you actually want to go ahead and build this car for yourself and uh, see if you can get it to be any better. But overall, it does drive very nicely indeed. Try and get down here, get all of our power, foot on the power. 146.039 is going to be the final time for the Ford GT40 which will put it into first place. It is now officially the fastest car. It is 2.2 seconds up on the previously very ugly Porsche Cayman. It's still ugly because I haven't removed the upgrades from it yet. Uh, it is 5 seconds up on the TVR, or nearly, f actually 5.4 seconds up on the TVR Speed 12, and it is, well, a very long way up indeed from the good old Hillman Imp. Still a good car, damn it. Uh, but yeah, that is the GT40. Good car. Uh, don't know how long it's going to hold the top spot for. Probably quite a while, considering how nicely it drove. Uh, really not expecting much to drive that much better, but you never know when it comes to this series. There could be a car that comes along and drives really nicely indeed. Stay tuned for next time. As always, if you'd like to request a car for this series, you can indeed do so, whether you comment on uh, HG Central or on my personal channel. Uh, they will be added to the list. Please do make sure uh, you only request two cars uh, because I'm only doing a limit of two cars per person at this moment in time. And some cars have already been requested, such as the last few that you have seen. So uh, do bear in mind. I'll reply to your comment if a car has already been requested, letting you know. Um, other than that, uh, you can, if you're on HG Central, you want to check out my channel, it is down below in the description. And also, if you want to see these videos, uh, a little bit earlier than you do on this channel. That is also in the description. I upload these slightly earlier to my personal channel. But with all that being said and done, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell.